Hi, welcome to the CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. I'm Steve Mango, Technical Manager for CareStream NDT, and today I'm going to show you how to scan and acquire an image on the HPX1 system using our rigid cassettes. All right, let's now make an image using the rigid cassette instead of the flexible cassette. So I'm going to take out my flex tray. There's a knob on the bottom which releases the tray very easily. We'll hear the reader cycling to prepare itself to read a cassette. And uh, let me show you the cassette. Uh, there's a cassette extraction tool which goes right there on the cassette. And with this uh, finger guide right there, I can push that out and expose the plate. So this is nothing more than a flexible plate in the rigid cassette. And that's how I would take the plate out and insert a new plate or change the plate or whatever. So right now I'm going to put that in there, take my tool off and I'm ready to feed the, uh, the rigid cassette. Now unlike the flex, uh, the flex plates that are left justified, the rigid cassettes are always center justified and there are guides in there which makes it very easy to find that center position. So I'm going to put the plate in. Then I'm going to go to my scan and erase setup to make sure that I have a cassette selected now instead of a plate. So it's a cassette 10 by 12 at 50 microns and check my laser power and PMT settings and hit the scan button. Now if we come back to the reader you'll hear it, the motor going, pulling the plate out of the cassette. That's the loader. It takes the plate out of the cassette. It'll scan it with the laser and read it just like it would a flexible cassette. And after it's read, the software is going to ask me whether or not I want to erase it. I can make that decision at that time. I usually do unless I need to reread an image twice. And when it's all done, the cassette will pop out about that much and you know that your imaging cycle is complete. So this is a 50 micron scan. Of course, the plate is much bigger than my 4.5 by 10. It's going to take a few more seconds to get all that data scanned and acquired. And we're coming up to about another 5 or 10 seconds that scanning will be complete and I'll erase the plate. So right now we hear the, uh, the eraser fans coming on in preparation from a, for a race. It's going to ask me to erase it and I'll say yes. And at the same time it asks me what I want to name the file. So I'll give it a file name or not. Here I'm going to cancel it. And now the erase cycle is going. And in another few seconds, we'll see that cassette pop out about that much, and we'll know that it's already read and erased, and I'm ready for the next play. All right, let's take a look at our rigid cassettes and how the imaging plates are loaded in and extracted from. If you're going to be using rigid cassettes, you'll want to have at least one of these cassette extraction tools available from our catalog. It's CAT number 842-3600, and it's very easy to use. It clips on the rear of the cassette like so. And you'll notice a little finger hole right here. That is so I can put my finger in that hole and expose the plate. Once I pull the plate out about an inch, then I can get the plate and take it completely out for cleaning or whatever other maintenance or to change it to a different plate and push it back in. Once I push it back in, make sure that it's seated all the way. And then I just pull this top lever on the extraction tool and it comes off very easily.